Welcome back to another level attempt on Vampire Survivors in Vampire Survivors. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Yes, today we'll try it again because the last time I messed it up and I can't let that sit on me. I want to... Hmm, X? Sure. I want to break the level 200. And I have to use the pentagram in a better way, in an optimal way, because even last time I was talking about it, how I tend to fail with it. And yeah, I fall with it again. So, what is the major difficulty early on, right now, where we are? Well, we want to have six items, and we also want to have the crown relatively early. I don't think it matters too much, because early experience is not that important. And I talked about that last time, that crown is nice, because it gives you 8% bonus experience when you collect experience, but if you lose out on experience because you don't kill enough, then, you know, that, that's kind of the opposite, you're just hindering yourself. Because the, sp the game spawns the enemies whenever there is not enough enemies around. Or whenever there are not enough enemies around. Which means you really want to kill them as quickly as possible. And losing half of your experience just to gain 8% more doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So one of the biggest issues is probably the skull that we need. That increases the spawn rate of the enemies, their speed, their frequency, everything pretty much. Well... Rate and frequency is the same, but I mean amount and frequency. What do we have here? Magic wand. Or do I want to go for fire wand? Fire wand has a lot of damage. You know what? I'll go for reroll and just gamble on getting an item. Spinach. Perfect. Nice. I think I should do this more often, generally speaking, because it allows you to get your stuff super early. And if we can max out on items... Uh, yeah, I'll take the lightning ring here. If we can max out on weapons or items as soon as possible, that would be great. Because that will help us out to just, you know, pick up the empty tome, don't get the stuff that you don't want to have, and that's the main goal. So let's walk over there, let's hope that the empty tome actually spawned. Because if it didn't spawn... Okay, there we go, perfect. Let's go for another lightning ring. And there's the experience, and now, how about a crown? No, how about a curse? I would like to have the curse, the skull. Skullomania. Yeah, that's not a given. Okay, there's the crown, perfect. So that's one of the components that I'm looking for. The reason why I want to have the curse earlier is because more enemies spawn, which will lead to more experience, which will lead to me... Well, leveling up faster, and I can pick up the Empty Tome. It's the most rare passive weapon that I know that we need. So, that's why I want to have it. The worst thing that could happen is it just doesn't show up until, like, level 40 or so. And, I, you know, I just struggle to do anything. Let's go over here, and... Well, we are level 13, so we are not doing poorly. Candle Labrador. I'm pretty sure that is part of the build. So, let's go for that. I have an idea for a different build that I want to try, but before I try my own build, I want to get a better understanding of how good I am with this build, or how bad I am, you know, just to have a reference point, and then I'll go for the other build next time, and then I will check out how I performed there, right? Because here I know the potential where you can go is 220, but that doesn't mean I get to 220, so I wouldn't know... Okay, what did I do wrong? I, I went wrong somewhere. Hold on a second, what? So I was about to throw away this run, because you're supposed to go for Skull, right? And I think what I'll do instead... Yeah, what I'll do instead is I'll not go for Clover, which sounds really bad, and it is probably really bad. But let's just give it a try. Let's just see if it works out. I know you don't have enough luck that the Pentagram doesn't destroy the stuff. But that's just, you know, that's just what you gotta do if you mess up. And my item correction, weapon correction that I want to try out doesn't use the spellbinder nor the bible, so that's what I want to attempt there. Uh, should I go for X maybe, to get that early on? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so now I have to limit myself. I can't get any other weapon. I need to get the Pigeon and, uh, Pigeon, eh? and the Ebony Wings. So the problem is with less luck, we get less rosaries, which means in the end we'll get less levels. And I guess I just have to hope that I get really lucky, and that's pretty much the idea now. By the way, I have a quick question. So at some points I cut so far. It was not often, right? 
But do you want to have these videos cut and just get to the spicier things or do you just want to see straight up 30 minutes me doing this entire thing so you see everything that I do? And I think for the rest of the run I'll just leave it uncut because, you know, nothing can go wrong. People that don't like it can skip it. People that like it can watch it. So, yeah. I mean, people that don't like it can skip it. Uh, skip it. That's also something to say that's not entirely true. Because if I watch a video, I want to enjoy the video. I don't want to manually do everything just to enjoy it. I would rather just go on another video then, right? Oh, it just doesn't want to show up. It doesn't like me. Let me get that. Come on. There we go. Now, the question is actually, is the clover more important or is the skull more important? Okay, I'm actually not sure about that right now. Because we still have 50% curse just by the power-ups, right? I mean, it definitely seems to have an impact, but if we have clover, everything is so much easier. Okay, another crown. I actually don't think crown is important that early on, as I said, but hey, it can't, you know, be bad for me. Ooh, the first rosary. Hey, who needs who needs clover? So I would say I'll just go for clover or the crown. Not the crown. The, the, I don't know why I always call it crown. It, I I mean the skull. Skullomania. Yeah. Either, like, if I find Skullomania or the, the, the clover, I'll just go for whatever comes first. Ooh, these guys are actually not that easy. Also not super difficult or anything, but not that easy. There we have Spellbinder maxed out. Amazing. Not that it's my choice to do that, but, you know, it's not the worst thing. Uh, magic Wand again. The Magic Wand is a bit annoying. Like, I don't even know if you want to level it up to get it to level 7. Ooh, another Rosary. Huh. Okay, now I'm curious. Because now I am unsure if I want to really have Clover, right? As long as I get enough rosaries, Clover makes no difference. Where it does make a difference, however, is the success chance of Pentagram. At the max level, Pentagram has a 65% chance to not erase items. And with our 40% luck, that's 65 times 1.4. That is a very nasty calculation, but that should be something at around 93%, if I'm not mistaken. 65 times 1.4. 91%, okay. Ooh, that's actually... Ooh, that's really low. I didn't expect it to be that low. Hmm. Okay, what happens if I have 64 times 1.5? Yeah, that's 96. 96 would be bearable, so I have to find a little clover. Either I have to find a little clover, or... Okay, we were just talking about you. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, can you give me a second one? Because then I do not need luck. It would still be nice for the faster candle respawn, but to be honest, as long as we get the rosaries, we are Gucci. Right? Like, I don't actually need the candles. But I need them for the rosaries. That's a given. Hmm. Do I want to max out Lightning Ring or Axe first? That's actually a really good question. I think I'll go for Lightning Ring. King Bible. Perfect. Yeah, but do you notice we don't spawn any candles? Or, well, we do spawn candles, but not that many. At this point, I think I'm fine to take the Curse or the Clover. Whatever comes... I know I keep talking about what I want to do, and then I talk about it as if I have no plan. Okay, let's go for the clover. Yeah, and then I talk about it as if I'm still thinking and have no plan. Or I'm, I'm unsure. But that's just because I think about something, then I want to go for it, and then I think about it again, and then I change my mind. And that just means I, I'm, I'm not sure what's better. Oh, I'm... Oh, uh, yeah, we can take the empty tomb now. Perfect. So the main question I personally have is, is there really a big difference that the the curse makes? I'm, I still, I'm still questioning that, I know. Because to me, if you gain 97% of your entire experience in the very last wave, and the wave just fills out the entire screen, then what's the point of using it, right? Because it doesn't change anything about it. And maybe the actual thing that changed has nothing to do with curse, but just people optimizing the rosary amount. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like the runs before that were bad, but if you, the longer you play, the the more, or the better runs you'll get, and the more you'll know how to deal with unique situations. And by doing that, you will just have better results, right? Like, nothing changes better results. Take my 24.8k gold. 
that one was pretty much on... I think nothing changed in that one compared to the 20k one. So I got, what, 25% more gold in that run without changing anything. Or let's say without the game changing in any way. Unless I misremember it and there was actually a big update. Ah, oh, excuse me, the lawnmower is coming through. Excuse me, excuse me. And... Whew, do I want to go for spinach? Hmm. I think spinach is better. Ebony wings, perfect. There we go. So I think the last time I had 10 rosaries, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't use them optimally. So I can... Like, even with less rosaries, I can achieve the same. But... Also, the point in record runs is not to achieve the same, right? You don't want to do the same stuff that you did, as in performance-wise. You want to improve on that and do better. But hey, we, we actually have Clover. What am I talking about? I have it. There's no reason to talk about it as if we will have less rosaries. I mean, I think 10 was like a really high number, and you can't expect that. Because that is a similar amount that I get on X-Dash, and he has way more luck. Like, that was just an insanely lucky run. And when I did them in the past, as I said, I didn't do many of them, but when I did them, I usually got between, I think, four and eight rosaries. So that was a one-off. Or since then, just something changed in the game. That could also be that values were adjusted or calculations on how you're supposed to get stuff or when you're supposed to get stuff. All of that can influence it. Well, and I guess also a lot on my knowledge part has changed, right? Like, I know when rosaries get unlocked, at what time that happens and stuff like this. So that obviously has a huge impact as well. Let's get the lightning ring upgrade. Let's get the empty tome. And let's continue mowing through the enemies. Um, yeah, two rosaries. I mean, we are 10 minutes in, so we have the expectation right now to get six in total. Which is not great. <laughs> Which is really not great. I'm actually wondering, wait, do I want to upgrade the Unholy Vesper? Or do I want to upgrade Lightning Ring? That's actually a very good question. You know what, I'll do something entirely different. I'll go for the Vandalier ASAP. Um, or maybe not. What would be the reason that I wouldn't want to go for Vandalier? Because it might take too long. No, that, that makes no sense. Let's just do it. Let's go for the Vandalier. Like, the thing is, once you go for Vandalier, you really want to max it out ASAP and get the Pentagram. Well, the maxing out is not the point, but you want to get the Pentagram and max that one out. So, if you have a lot of weapon offers that could be given by the game, then that's obviously not good, right? Because every single offer the game is giving you that is not on Pentagram is a waste of time. There we go, we have the Holy Wand. I completely forgot about that one, actually. That's also interesting. But it's firing so fast. Imagine we had Brazers. Yeah, and this makes the Vesper actually irrelevant. Huh. That's interesting. Like, I mean, relevant as in I didn't go for the Curse, so why would I need the Vesper, right? Oh, another thing where Clover is actually really important is boss chest drops, right? As At least if, if this actually matters, that you get a lot of kills early on. Then it would matter a lot to get the boss chest drops. Hmm. So Clover is probably way better than assumed by me. I mean, I think it's really good. But uh, the impact just seems to be more than, yeah, get some more rosaries, get pentagram to not destroy stuff. It seems to do more than just that. Well, I'm talking about these runs here. In general, it was obvious, but talking about these runs here. So, do I want to go for Candle Labrador, or do I want to max out the Lightning Ring? Uh, I already have an evolution for the minute 12 boss, so I'll not max out the Lightning Ring. I'm actually not even sure if I want to max out, or if I want to have the Unholy Vesper. Because compared to the Lightning Ring, it's really bad. I might just want to go for the Lightning Ring and gamble on a 50-50. Okay, we have a chest now. But I got a crazy idea, kind of, situation. So what's our level right now? You see, we don't have a lot to max out, right? There's, there's not a lot that will be offered to us when we level up. So, technically speaking... 
we could upgrade a certain birdie. And then we just get the pentagram. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I think we could do it. Yeah, there we go. It's maxed out and it's maxed out. So now I'll just pick up the chest right away. This one is also maxed out. Now the offers are very little. It's enough that... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Right, the Unholy Vespers. So I have to wait until, I think, 14 minutes. That's where the next boss spawns. Then I'll upgrade the Vandalier. Up until then, I'll accumulate as much experience as possible without trying to collect it. Perfect. There's another one that I can use in the future. Oh, there's the boss. 13 minutes in. Well, that was quick. Let's get the evolution. Buddy, welcome to the team. Am I actually recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay, all is good. Let's go over here and let's just gather some experience for a bit. Actually, yeah, let's walk around, gather some experience because I'll need a lot of level ups. The optimal goal would be to, or the optimal condition would be, have like 10 level ups and then just get the pentagram and max it out. And I think 10 levels is manageable. We are already at level 71, I just noticed. That's a very high level. I think. Um, well, it depends. I Actually, I don't think it's a high level, I guess. There we go. Should I just give it a try now? I just want to have the pentagram ASAP. I think I'll give it a try once I'm really close to hitting 73. Because that means I can do all the level ups off screen. There's actually a bad chest. Like a bad, not a bad. Get some gold. Okay. I can't take pentagram. I could take pentagram now. I, c I can't take pentagram now, no. It will wipe out way too much. So where's the bat? Okay, I have an idea. I have another idea. So we kill the bat. We take the chest. We do with it whatever happens, because it will upgrade the thunder loop, so nothing special happens. Um... Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. And now, let's go. I'll go over here just to be away from the... Okay, perfect. That was amazing. There's another one, there's another one. Because now it's always offered. Well, not always always, but almost always. And that's it. <laughs> Do you see all the damage numbers? That's crazy. Okay, and there we go. So that's a 14 minute pentagram. The thing is, again, I don't know how much influence this entire thing has, but let's just try and see how far we can get with this. Right now we are pretty much playing on the old version of Vampire Survivors pre-curse update, except we have 50% curse. Like, we don't have the item, but we have the curse, so it's, it's like 50% of what we want to have is accomplished. Almost missed a chest there. Come to me. Nice. So we have the Death Spiral now. That is really good. The Death Spiral is amazing at breaking candles. And now let's just walk left and right and left and right and left and right and collect all the rosaries that we can collect. I haven't found a single one since the other two. So I'm a bit concerned that I might just get screwed. And that was it. But, yeah, it's just RNG, right? Like, sometimes you'll get a ton of candles, uh, a ton of rosaries. Sometimes you'll get very little. With x Dash, the highest amount of rosaries I've ever gotten is, I think, 26. In the gold record run that I have on the channel, it's 25 that I got there, I think. But I topped that by one. But it's really so insanely random. For example, my lowest value on x Dash was 4. And the sad part was, there was a super amazing run. And all I needed were level ups, and I ended that run on level 113 or so. Just for a reference point, my average level on X-Dash after I'm done is around, I think, 140 to 150. And it went higher than that just because of rosaries, like more rosaries. But yeah, that just means I lose a ton of gold because every single level up gives you 75 gold. And if you're 40 levels behind, then that's 3,000 gold just down the drain, you didn't get that. Rosaries, where are you hiding? Please, <laughs> come in. Yeah, they, they, they don't want to appear. Ah, how many would we need? 
So pentagram is maxed out, right? Yeah. So I actually should take the time. And I think it takes 32 seconds. And I'll actually check out. Yeah, I should have checked this out. If the timer fits or not. Because you want to time it right. So when it goes off, I'll take a short break and just, you know, calculate an axel when the other ones will go off. Ooh, 1718. Let's go. Okay, it looks like I got really lucky. At least if nothing changes about the cooldown and it's still 32 seconds. Then that means we have four pentagram activations from minute 29 to minute 30. Wait, wait a second. That's wrong. Oh, no. It's not optimal. Oh... I was looking at minute 30, which makes no sense. That's where the game is already over. Hmm, okay, that's a bit of a problem. So we have two activations at minute 29, which is really good, because one of them is at 29.02, at least if the time is right. So the next one should be at 17.50, and I really hope it's that case, because then we still get two activations. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. The, the not optimal case is that it only activates once, at minute 28, which is obviously, you know, you would like to have two activations. There's a boss. That means I can upgrade the... What is missing? Oh, nothing. We have everything. Great. Oh, I was looking away to confirm that the pentagram that just went off was right. And yeah, it, it should have went... Panda chest. Hello there. But yeah, it should have went off at 1822. And that lines up. Because it just went off, I looked over, and then I ran into a chest. So that was at 18.22. So I guess an optimal case would have been to evolve the pentagram just, like, even four seconds later. Would have been really good. And I think the way I'll do it in the future is I'll look at a timer that I have. And then just make sure that I'll, um... I think I'll, I'll get rid of this one here. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want to level up while I'm trying to nuke the last wave. But yeah, I think the way I'll do it in the future is I'll determine what's the best upgrade points. <clears throat> where I get as, as many nukes as possible on the last two waves, maybe even three. And then I will collect the attract orb in that time. That seems to make a lot more sense. Oh, that was... That was a very late pentagram, what? If I saw that right, that went off at 1856, and it should have went off at 1854. Now the good thing is, if we actually delay this by a couple seconds, that would be amazing. Because we just need to delay it by like 3-4 seconds. But let me see, so the next pop-off according to what I calculated should be 1926. Let's see if it happens there. And, will it go off? It's not there. What? 29? Okay, so I'm a bit concerned right now. now. Everything is perfect for us now. It nukes at 81.01, so give it another one or two seconds. That would be amazing. But the problem is, if it keeps going, like, if it keeps getting delayed, then our last nuke that would go off will not happen. R because right now the last nuke would be at 29 minutes and 37 seconds. And everything is okay up until 29.59. I gotta figure out what causes this delay. I think it's the level ups. Like, because I leveled up a lot with the... Yeah, okay, this was 20.02. Let's check if... Huh, that's that's again delayed by a second. Oh, that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. I mean, it's probably bad to collect all the experience all the time. But the thing is, I really gotta check out the code that determines how much HP the enemies have. I mentioned this the last time, the enemy scale off of your HP. But I don't know what the max HP is. Because every single enemy has an attribute that says, this is the max HP. Oh, that's a freeze. That's actually No, that's actually perfect. Yeah, that's really good. Because what I can do then is, at 30 minutes, spot on, I can go there, walk into it, it will freeze the Reaper... And then I gather all the experience at the, like, the latest stage possible, right? Because last time, I think a problem was that I couldn't suck up everything. Because Pentagram went off and I didn't have a vacuum anymore. But this time, I can just wait until 30 minutes straight up. Okay, I got horrible news. This time it went off at 29.09. 
And that is uh, far behind. It should have went off at 29.05. So that's another 4 seconds added to the timer. Yeah, I feel like this will be a problem. And I, I feel like moving around just really doesn't help it. So I think if I notice I'm getting too close to the 30 minute threshold, then I'll just stay here where I am and not move around to avoid any further delays. In hopes that this would affect it. Like, I don't know if it does, but I think it does. It's really interesting. I don't know. It seems to be the spammy level up that causes the delay. Because right now I had no delays for an entire minute. Or for two, you know, uh, periods where the pentagram went off. Which is unusual given how quickly it ramped up prior. So yeah, let's just not use any vacuum. That is good to know. I mean, this is all just theory. Like, I don't actually know what's going on. I'm just trying to figure out or to see a pattern. So let me check this again. Okay, this time it was 2247. Hmm. We are still good. The last nuke is at 2943. But if you compare that to what it was, yeah, that's a huge increase in a couple of minutes. And I fear that it will just increase enough that it won't go off a second time on the last wave. So it should go off at 2319, but I think it was already close the last time to switch the second, so it might be 20. Yeah, okay, it's 20. Yeah, I mean, that's still fine. That, that's manageable. Oh, let me turn off the damage numbers. Like, I, I, I think it's the more the game lags, the slower it actually becomes. There is definitely something going on, so I'll just take off the damage numbers and see if it works out this time. Oh, that was a huge delay. Okay, so this delay, this time it was at 21 here. Let me add two seconds. Okay, so I determined this pentagram went off at 23.54. And now the next time it should go off at 24.26. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. 26. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So nothing changed. I still gotta be careful because do you notice when I walked over here and went into the enemies how laggy it became? It's not that crucial, but it's enough to slow down the game. That is also really interesting. Is it? No, I don't think so, because we are losing time, right? Yeah, because it delays the pentagram, never mind. Like, I thought maybe you could actually impact this in a way that you gain more by just making it more laggy, but no, it does the opposite. You actually have a downside from it. 28? Ooh, we are... we lost another second. There's the big boy, let me get the fire. Um, Actually, I don't need to be concerned with him. I'm just concerned with him because of X-Dash. But here it will be super easy to kill him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a rosary! Really late, but hey, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Okay, I, I gotta be really careful because especially the last wave when I knew... Good that I was looking what I was doing. That, that's really good, that's always good to do. But yeah, I have to be really careful with the last wave that when I nuke and a lot of lag gets created that I don't go beyond the amount, right? So right now I'm at 29, 49 where the second pentagram would go off, which means I honestly don't want to move anymore. I'll just stay here. This is pretty much the prime position. Uh, actually, it's like here, right? No, I can go a bit higher, like this, yeah. So I'll stay exactly here and I'll just kill whatever comes in. I'll not delay the pentagram. Because it's not worth it to try to go for Rosary if you then lose a pentagram, right? It's pretty much the same thing. Wait a second, I just realized something. I think I can actually move around because while I was looking that I'm losing the last one that I was determining as the one that I'll use, there's also another one. There's a second one. The one that is currently at the end of 28 minutes is also there. And that one just needs a delay of 4 seconds and it will go over. Now given I don't really want to nuke the moment it hits 29, the reason for that is simple. There will still be the, the minions, the creeps, the monsters from the minute 28 around. So the effect is very little. But I'll, I'll look at 27 minutes how it's looking and then I'll determine what I'll do. Oh, this is such a difficult decision. So right now... It's 29.52. Again, the best thing is to not let it go off. Well, okay, the best case would be 
I can still get enough rosaries, so I don't care about this entire thing. And it still goes off, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna stand still because I think we'll need at least five seconds to deal with future lag. And I'll just stay here. Okay, we still have two explosions at 28. The next one is at 16. 17 is totally fine, that's why I kept some, you know, leeway to make sure that I have enough time, but it should go off any second now. 17. 17 perfectly fine, we lost a second, that was calculated in. More than fine. The problem will be that I can't pick up experience, like level up, because that will delay it a lot. 2850 is still fine, we are still in there. It should be 2848, but, you know. I think for, yeah, just, okay, so now we are here at 29 minutes. Which means, I totally forgot that I'm at 29 minutes. Good job, Dex. The pentagram will go off at... 23 seconds, which means I'll take this rosary, then I walk down, take the second rosary. Or, no, I will not take the second rosary. I'll take this one, now. There we go. Then I'll wait for 23 seconds, and let the pentagram go off. And then I'll take my second rosary. Come on, come on. Yeah, now it should go off any second. Well, it will still take a bit. There we go. Now there's the other rosary. Really sad that I only got three. That is, like, really sad. There we go. And now I have to take a look at the time. 29.55, so I want to take the last rosary over here as soon as I can. Oh, that's... Ooh. But hopefully that caused no problems. Now I use this one. And I think what I'll do now is I'll just walk around and try to get as many rosaries as I can. Like if one drops from down here, for example. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, let's just stay here because I don't want to, like, forget that I have to pick up the experience here. With the freeze. Let's just kill as much as we can. It looks really bad right now. But let's just kill as much as we can. And now I'll pick up the freeze. He's frozen. We get all the experience. See, I did a lot better than last time. I think it still has a huge impact on how this will end, because of all the changes. That actually looks really bad. Well, 196, that is decent. It's not what I hope for, for sure, but I think it's decent. Yeah, but I definitely needed curse. Spinach was a mistake. I, for some reason, I was still thinking I need spinach. That was a mistake. The good part is, we have a lot of room to improve on this entire thing. And next time, I'm pretty sure I'll break the 196. And hey, we had a total of... Wait, why does it say four rosaries? Did I pick up one by accident without noticing it? Oh, there were probably two rosaries in the same spot. Where I use the rosary, I guess, or maybe over in, in the course of the run, over the course of the run, I pick one up could also be. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to have these runs edited, or if you want to have the full versions of them. And yeah, then until the next run, bye bye.